What is going on, my friends? Welcome back to another episode of Kona. I am so glad to have you here. My name is Skofu. Hope you're enjoying your time. Thanks for coming to hang out with me for the next 30 minutes and just either have fun, relax, have a laugh, you know, or just feel like you're a detective in the Canadian wilderness. So, big things happened last. We, we got to uh, number 10 treasure map and even bigger, we got the magnet. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the magnet. Let's look at it. I want to look at it. Where is it? I want to see it. Where's the magnet? Why don't I see the magnet? Where's our magnet? Where's our magnet? Where's our magnet? No. What's going on? All right, so before we craft it, just so we're not overweight for any special weird reason, I want to drop some stuff. Okay, it looks like lamp oil apparently doesn't weight anything. So we'll go ahead and drop you, and we can drop you, and wow. You're really heavy stuff. All right, just in case. Let's, where's my magnet? Where the, where the hell is my magnet? Are you kidding me? Did the game glitch again? Oh my God, this is not happening. This is not happening. All right, I'm gonna see if... Where, oh my God, dude, are you kidding me? This can't be happening. All right, so we're gonna try to load back a checkpoint. Load a checkpoint. Um, Where were we? June 7th, June 15th. What about this one? This was three minutes ago. Let's... What about this one? today to the 416 I don't know please please work oh my god where'd our magnet go I'm so devastated right now I'm so devastated please be please work that's twice that's twice our magnet has just up and disappeared what is going on with this game it is early access it was so cold already Carl did not feel his toes anymore okay do we have a magnet do we have a magnet We have a magnet. We have a magnet. We have a magnet. It worked. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, it worked. Okay. <sighs> Usable. Let's smoke two cigarettes to calm down. Yep. Let's go ahead and uh, smoke another cigarette. Yep. Cool. All right, so now we're going to come over here and we're going to drop some heavy stuff. So, fire starters. We don't need that many fire starters. I say we need seven fire starters on us at any good given time. Okay. Let's combine our magnet. Oh, we got a magnet on a stream. We got a magnet on a stream. I want to look at it. Special. Where's magnet on a stream? Where's magnet on a stream? There's a magnet on a stream. Wired magnet. Cool. We found it. We did it. We did it. Nailed it. Ace. It can't be stopped. Sorry, that was stolen. That was Slipgator. I love I love Slipgator. I'm giving him full props for that because that is his saying, and I love it, and it's amazing. I would say definitely go watch Slipgator if you guys have never seen any of his videos. He is absolutely hilarious and a genius YouTuber. All right, so I wanted to pick that back up. All right, so we now have a magnet on a string. And I can't remember which house had that magnet on a string. But anyway, that's beside the point. I want to figure out the next treasure map. We're going to continue on our treasure map hunt, but I'm going to go where it's warm when we figure this out. Because that would be the smart thing to do. Actually, I'm going to not let anything go to waste. We're going to take all that. And actually... Before we do that, I need to empty out my inventory a lot and put a lot of stuff into the truck. We're going to put a lot of stuff into the truck. We are going to deposit some fire starters. Because that takes up a lot of weight. We are going to deposit a first aid kit. We are going to deposit the hammer. We are going to deposit some tools. Um, keep the hatchet for self-defense. We have a lantern and rifle. We don't need that many matches, we have matches, don't need that many painkillers, we don't need the players on us, we don't need that many photos, okay, I guess all the photos are gone. All right, so we deposited, we just got a lot of weight back, cool. All right, let's come in here, let's come in here, and oh, I should also save the game while I still can, so we don't lose our magnet. 
save the game. All right, game saved. All right, so now let's come back up here. Nope, not the journal. Actually, let's read the journal. Locations, let's see what else did we find about this place. Um, it smells like church, uh, locked, no response at the door. We found a way in, the mother's diary says to it all. The family's out of town for a few days. Uh, secrets, however, someday I get, I go by Blaze Shed. There should be a key in the hole near it. Yeah, I remember that. So it's at Blaze. Okay. Old oil stain. Seems a car was parked here a few hours ago. Seems like they left to go see Grandma. Okay. So, do I want to go do the magnet in the shed? Or do I want to finish the treasure map? I don't know. Let's see the treasure map. Let's check the treasure map. We're going to go backwards. Four. There's ten. Okay. So, it's literally so angled out of the house to the corner of the road. Angle out of the house to the corner of the road, way down that way. So that's where I'm going. Let's get in our trusty truck. Let's get in our trusty truck. Rusty truck? Rusty, trusty, rusty. Rusty, trusty truck. Trusty, rusty truck. Rusty, trusty truck. Anyway, sorry, having too much fun with that. Uh, map, please. All up in your face map. That's an all up in your face map. I can't see the road. Okay, we'll get from out here and we're gonna hang a right. It's so hard to see and drive. This is, this is distracted driving people. Don't text and drive. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't let your parents do it. It's not good. Your life's not worth it. I mean, your life's worth it is what I mean. Like, dying isn't worth it. So, it's up here to the corner. Right around here. Right around here. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Come on. Chill, dude. Chill, dude. Chill, dude. Chill, dude. Chill, dude. Chill. All right, let's get out. Thank you, trusty rusty truck. Now, do we have any meat on us? Special... Uh, usable... Uh, I think we're out of meat. So in that case, just to be careful, we are going to pull out our rifle. Pew, 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 pew. I'm not a hunter. I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys are hunters. I'm not a hunter. I don't like killing things. I don't want to kill anything. I mean, yeah, I was in the military, and I don't mind, like, hunting people, but, like, it's different, you know? It's different. Okay, so we've got some tracks. Where is... Where are the trees? I mean, we could check out this... I mean, we're here. Screw it. Let's check Let's check this place out. We already checked this place out? I feel like we've seen something along lines like this. I don't know, have we? Dog shed? Dog house? Hello, anybody home? Fido. Have we been here before? It's not saying we haven't. I'm getting to do it the uh, Jean Roy. Okay, cool. It was a classic Canadian house, except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. Can I get a light? Thank you. All right. Ring, ring. Anybody home? Okay, nothing there. More fire starter, sweet. Lots of grains, got it, cool. Close that. Just one more move and White is checkmated. Game over. Game it over. It seems the game was abandoned right before the final strike came down. Oh, right before the final strike. Okay, we got a letter to read. Holy cow. That is the weirdest name to spell, Ma the weirdest way to spell Matthew. Matthew. All right, had yet to add murder had yet to add a murderer to his curriculum. He was fond of new experiences, especially the most thrilling ones, and taking the life of a flesh and bone individual who the night before was still able to think, dream, fantasize, calculate, read, held the promise of exhilarating sensations. Unlike Rascal in the Kov, it was about axing an old Jewish hag to pieces to test some lunatic theory. Not at all. Matthew just wanted to know how it felt. It seemed so simple. Horribly simple. He didn't have any particular victim in mind. Like most people, his desires ran quite wildly. So he only had one vague idea. So he only had a vague idea of them in mind. 
He poured using a rifle, knife. He pondered using a rifle, knife, assassinating a young girl or old man. He tried to focus on pract on practica practicability. God, I cannot read today. Jesus. Uh, his victim would be would have to be defenseless. But defenseless. A bodybuilding wasn't exactly math. I e use strong suit. Sorry, I'm going to call him that from now on. He would have to act spontaneously, but not too much. He wasn't that eager to learn what spending the rest of his life in a prison would be like. Some experiences carry too high a cost to be worth it, really. Alright, so you probably shouldn't write that kind of stuff down, Matthew. That's just my thing, like you're just leaving a trail of breadcrumbs for awesome detectives like myself to follow. Ooh, what is that? Nope, 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 no. What is that? Oh, matches. Cool. Yay, more matches. Um, do I have a water bottle to fill up? Cool, I did. Anything up in here? Up in here. Okay, can I... can I... no, no, no. Close. Thank you. Anything in there? No. What a waste of effort. No, no. Oh my gosh. Ooh, any meat? Any meat? Any meat? No meat this time? Really? There's me and the other one, but on this one, rude. The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. Why is there cat stuff in here? Weird. Yay, more painkillers. Okay, nothing else. Cool. And it's dark in here. Come on, turn on the light. Yep, that's the light I wanted. Thank you. Ooh, what's that? Bullets. Ooh, yay. Oh, gosh. Oh, here we go. That's the page four. No, we can't skip. We can't skip two and three. Where's, where's, is that three? Okay, that's three. Where's two? Two must be in the other room. All right, let's go into this room first. Where's the fantasy? Page four. Page three. Cannot. Kona, uh, I see what you did there. I see. I see All what you did there. All manners of clothing were gone. Kona, as if the Ruas drove out of town with their closet in tow. All right, page two. It was around that time that Math I E U met Beatrice of mediocre beauty at best. The girl, with her distinctive features, cheeks covered with a large pox-like freckles, Jew nose, oily forehead, tired but vibrant eyes, shaded red hair, slender as a child body, chirpy laugh—you name it was the very image of innocence. That happy to be that happened to be precisely the kind of victim Math IEU was picturing in his mind, though. One night he was contemplating the ceiling he was, one night as he was contemplating the ceiling from his bed I don't understand what that means. That's weird. Um, he swore to himself again and again, I'll kill her. I'll kill her. My name is Math IEU and I will kill her. His dreams were later filled with images of the imminent crime. We had to come up with a simple enough plan. One fine evening, or he had to come up with a simple enough plan. One fine evening, he would visit her place to become familiar with the area's intricacies and feel closer to the impending murder, to slowly dig into Beatrice's thoughts, desires, dreams, and abilities. This way, he would be able to get a concrete sense of what his sinister deed would be stripping away from the very fabric of life. The whole thing would take two days, a week at most. All right, now we can cover it. Three. Bom, bom, bom. The first time he met Beatrice, however, she unexpectedly revealed her troubled origins to Matha EU. She was adopted at the age of four, and recalling her former life gave her gave, still gave her a hard time. She played the piano in so the piano in so graceful a manner, in so graceful a manner, yeah, I guess that really works. That people often thought she may be the natural offspring of musical virtuoso. She always cried before falling asleep, torn from the inside by a dreadful pain she couldn't explain. She confided to him so profoundly that Math IEU couldn't get enough, coming back every night to learn every single thing of what would come out of that delicate mouth after pulling one last breath out of it. Every night he reflected on what the death of Beatrice would mean in terms of losses to humanity's common heritage, be it the sound of sobbing or her piano melodies, the compulsive tapping of the long index finger on her temple when she harbored dark thoughts, or any little thing. It didn't matter. Everything would indiscriminately vanish. Everything. All these thoughts made for some blissful slumbers indeed. Then days became weeks, and before he knew it, it was Mathaiu's turn to throw his secrets at her, his hopes, his cries of despairs, as if throwing coins in a wishing well. 
She'll be dead by the end of the month, he promised himself. The two lovebirds were still going at it seven months later. Though confiding fears and desires alike near the fireplace several days a week, the populace took notice and wounding words eventually found their way into Matthew's ear, prompting him to take action to prove his gentlemanship. He had to ask Beatrice's hand in marriage. He would have more than enough time to kill her later. Today, when Matthew stares at the motionless ceiling, just like he did 20 years ago, he still wonders what he would be removing from existence by slitting Beatrice's throat, what he would be depriving his children of. Then, as if soothed by his fantasy, he gently drifts off, smiling the night away. Oh my god, Matthew, you are one sick song bitch. Oh my gosh, dude. Hi, Beatrice. You're, you're a nice person, Beatrice. Don't let Matthew kill you, please. Please don't let him do it. Please don't let him do it. Alright, so we just went on a lovely ride through this person's weird, dark, creepy secrets. Okay, so we came in here. Alright, so we're looking for... Alright, come on. Let's figure this out. So I'm up at this house now. I hate how I can't move with oops. I did not mean to do that. Um, so on. So there's the driveway, so I need to go out to the right. To the bend. Alright, so let's come out here. I see an angled tree over there. There it is, there's the box. Boom, shagalaga boom. Wow, I entered it. I entered like right around here somewhere. I missed that. All right, how many treasure maps are there? Oh, okay, good. Little Marie, congratulations, you found the last treasure. Now we need to replace all the things in Mr. Roy's shed before he notices they're missing. Before that, we can shoot flares on some stuff. Call me your friend Martin. Really? Really? If he was to venture deep into the woods, carrying a flare gun definitely wouldn't hurt, Carl assumed. At best, he could probably scare some beasts off. At worst, he was in for a nice little firework. It's true. Alright, so now we're gonna go... Where's my truck? There's my truck. Now we're gonna go to that shed. We're gonna go find that shed. It was in Blaze house, I believe. Blaze? Yes. Come on. Get over that. Alright, so... Come on, come on. Come on, alright. So let's open the map. Roy Beard Scout Blaze way up there, so we're gonna have to go past the general store, stay to the right, and it's the first one on our left. Let's go check it out. U turn, U turn, beep, 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 don't crash, don't crash. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's drive on. Drive on, driving on in our trusty, rusty, trusty, rusty truck. Trusty, rusty truck. Trusty, rusty truck. Trusty, rusty truck. Yeah. Really want to honk. Alright, let's drive on. Drive on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down. Slow it down, Skofu. Just kidding. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Yeah. I'm going the right way. Okay. We've got some glitch going on. Yep. Okay. Now we're back. Okay. Loading. Okay. We're going to come in here. Yep. Okay. That's not good. Okay. We're going to stay to the right. Yep. Okay. 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 Boom. Driving like a pro. So, and then it's the first house on our left. Wow, we are having some crazy loading glitches going on. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. All right, we're here, I remember this one. Man, it does not like loading the map. I can tell you, it does not like loading the map. Holy cow, okay. And we're gonna crash, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, game. It's really not that big of a game to be having that kind of issue. It's really not. All right, so there's the shed. We have a magnet on a string. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a magnet on a string. Let me double check the recording time really quick.
we have been up for a good 20 minutes almost on the dot so we have 10 more minutes all right we can finally do it guys we can finally do it we got the key, a we key. Got the key. what could it be for the shed the garden shed yeah carl couldn't reach it with his arm alone but he had more than a few tricks up his sleeve to pick it up. Not really. It wasn't a few tricks, but... Is there a light in here? Is there a light? No. Okay. So what... Ooh. Okay. More flares. Sweet. There's the flare gun. I already have a flare gun. I found it a different way. Anything... Okay. We got another hammer. I guess we needed another hammer. really bummed. I thought this was going to be, like, kind of spectacular. Chainsaw not working. Rude. Well, that's kind of a letdown. I really... I really thought that there was going to be something awesome in here. Really, I really wanted something to be awesome in here. But it, it was just to get the flare gun, I think. But we got the flare gun by going on a crazy treasure hunt. That was also a letdown. Alright. Let us... Mm -hmm. Come in here to warm up and read the journal and kind of figure some stuff out on our next move. Figure out what's our next move. Oh, sweet. My fire is still lit in here. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. So, let us read... Oh, no, that's the map, not the journal. Let's try that again. All right, let's read the journal. Let's figure out what's going on. So, we have done all that. So, I still can't believe what I laid my eyes on. A person in prison and unbreakable ice. If that's what they mean by Cold War, I mean, no part of it. Okay. So, that's not checked off for some reason. Still not a trace of the good Dr. Hamilton. The village seems deserted. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Fine pine trees. Yep. According to Hamilton's patient record, the man dwells a few miles north of the road. That's what we're led by. It's a dire situation from here. May not get any worse. Okay. Uh, rest stop ice wall. What, did we learn anything else about the ice wall? Just instant. I saw Dial's this ice man. Okay, that was not helpful. Alright, general store, Lanch's house. Nothing there. Gerard's house. Okay, we found everything there. Roy's house. Place, learn and chance, Eugene Roy's gate place. And her son, Wilfred and Roy. Found a book. Roy's house found origin. What are the next doors of Wilfred? Why he's onto something? So it shows them continuing north. Okay, we did that, we found that, we found the boot, we opened that, we found my hands on the diary. She says in the last paragraph, what? Putting her life right to the last paragraph, a loving husband suffers from insomnia. Uh, I got my hand on Blaze's diary, a little note on another furniture. I guess I'm, that means like I'm supposed to take pictures of this shit. I guess I should be taking pictures of that stuff. I don't know. 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 Alright, so there's the landslide. Yep, I found a Wilfred Roy on the cover. Strange blue ice again. There's the other boot. I can only go further north by the forest. My pickup truck wouldn't resist. Oh, so I'm supposed to go north through the forest. North through the forest. Okay, found all that. Doctor's office, Hamilton's Manor. But it wouldn't let me because the game isn't fully finished yet. Oh, you're back. Sorry about that. Phone rang. Had to take that. So, we now know that we have to go continue north but through the forest because it blocks us off right right there. It blocks us off. At, that's where the ice wall is, I think, um, where the bridge was collapsed. So now we have to go through the forest in order to get to the house up there. So, I don't... We, I think we've done everything we can do down here. But I don't want to get in the, you know, we're going to need a full episode to continue through that forest. I, you know, we only have like a f five minutes left right now. And that doesn't make sense to um, go out there and then have to turn around one minute later. So I think, yeah, we've searched all of that. We've gotten into everything. Roy, Brad, Lamoth, Bloon, Doctor. But we could never get back here to Old Roser, Lamoth, or Bloon. Uh, because past the Doctor's house was cut off so that sucks we can't go there's general store we went all the way back there we're at roy's house yep 
weird. So anyway, um, that's gonna have to do it, sadly, you guys. You know, that kind of stuff sucks that we're cutting a little short, but that's something to look forward to to the next one. We have the flare gun. We can now successfully go navigate. We can go navigate the forest. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out and having a good time, and uh, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, and if you're not already uh, subscribed, be sure to subscribe and, you know, stay up to date with everything that's going on. All right, catch you guys later.